Hi everyone, this is Sonia from Sonia's Mixed Media and um, I have been so busy creating this altered book and all its glory. It is so fat, I cannot close it. It is not finished, but I am kind of more than halfway through. So I thought I would show everyone because I know I have a few ladies <laughs> waiting for me to show them what I've done. Um, so all the, just about all of the techniques in this altered book is uh, techniques done by a YouTuber called Laurie Marie. And she has inspired a whole heap of us into making these altered books. She's just fantastic. I also want to thank Leather and Jade uh, who put me on to Laurie Marie. Thank you so much. Um, and yeah, I just thought I would do a quick show and tell of my mixed media altered book. And I know we have a bit of glare here at the moment. Uh, I don't normally do videos this time of day, but I've just come home from work and I really want to get this um, done. So I thought I'd do it now while it's nice and quiet at home. Now the book I have used is an old Robinson uh, Creo, uh, Crusoe, sorry, Robinson Crusoe book, and I just got this at a uh, secondhand shop a few weeks ago, and I haven't done anything to the cover yet. I kind of really like the cover just as it is, so I don't even know if I'm going to do anything on the cover yet. I might do, I might not. I'll leave that as a surprise. <laughs> so I'll get straight to it and show you all the beautiful yumminess of this uh, terrific altered book uh, by Laurie Marie's Techniques. So, okay, so when you open it, oh, that glare is going to kill me. Maybe if I put it up like this. Okay, this is my first page, uh, my first double page, and I had to do the zipper page. It's what really drew me to it. As soon as I saw that zipper, <laughs> I had to make this book. Um, I think it's going back to my sewing, <laughs> my sewing uh, background. So um, it's a technique of doing some mixed media collage and um, I glued in this uh, zipper, which is a working zipper. It is a bit stiff. It does open up um, and close, but it is a bit stiff. Uh, to close again but I don't think that's um, my fault I think the zipper I got was actually a bit stiff to start with it's a jeans zipper um, but it does work and you can go inside the zipper and you can put things inside there as you can see I can put my fingers in there and what I'm planning to put inside the zipper is some of the original book pages of Robinson Crusoe. Um, sort of as a dedication to this book because, you know, none of the original pages will be left. So I'm going to stick a few inside there. I've left the title of the book showing through on my front page, which I kind of liked. And um, this has got what Laurie calls underpants on there, which is basically background collage images. Um, it's got some masking tape and gesso and it's just, it's got a bit of texture on there and it was just really fun to do. And I found this collage piece, um, this collage piece here, um, in one of my craft books and it had this artist who sews these faces and I thought that was really cool to have the zipper in the middle of that. So and then I just tied on these bits of um, bits of string that I had. Okay so the second technique I have done from Laurie is use the now Laurie uses 
uh, a tape, a silver foil uh, duct tape, which I don't have. I, I have looked for it, but I can't find any at the moment. So I just use um, my, um, my aluminium foil um, at home, what you use in the kitchen. And I just cut it into little squares and glued it all down. Underneath, I've got lovely texture I've put in screws. Um, we have this, this was a em cardboard embellishment from scrapbooking, from my scrapbooking days. I've got a bit of plastic from a, a takeaway container that's made this area here. I've got this flower um, metal brad thing that I had. Um, I've, either, I've got a, uh, the backing off of a screw, like a bolt. And more texture over this side. Got texture paste put in there from a stencil. There's a bit of chicken wire, if you can see that, under there. And some washers and all sorts under there. And I really like this page. It's, it's, it's a really lovely technique. It's one of my favourite techniques so far. I'm just going to grab this mandarin and prop this up. Is that a bit better? Sorry. <laughs> Um, but I really love this picture as well that I've I've put in the centre um, of <laughs> these guys I found. I think they're in a, Ge a National Geographic magazine. But if you look carefully, they're all posing for a photo and this cheeky man is just popping his head out from behind this man's shoulder and he just makes me smile i think what a character i don't know if he's doing that on purpose but i'm thinking if he is what a character <laughs> so he's just popping out from behind this man's uh, shoulder there so i thought this was a really cool picture sort of i actually scrubbed this man's face on purpose to make it look a little bit older um so that's that one there uh, the next page here was the pocket technique and I have um, these bunny paper dolls that I made, oh, I would say at least three, four years ago and I kind of, I made these guys and I never really did anything with them, I just kind of stuck them in the drawer afterwards, you know, had a play, had fun. Um, and all their sort of arms and feet and head moves. And I thought, well, oh, I know where to put them now. I'm going to put them inside the pockets. So this is all kind of like I said, Laurie calls underpants. So bits of scrap um, book pages and gesso underneath. And then we made these pockets. And I've just closed up the pockets by, I actually glued them, but I've actually closed up the sides of each page with a safety pin as well. Then I have texture paste, like these bricks, which was a stencil. And, um, you know, add some lovely um, colour. I think that was just, I used my ink pad for that and just brushed a bit of that over the top. I'll just pop these back in. But uh, yeah, so I, I really like how that sort of turned out grungy and I just like it the way it is. Sometimes less is more. So didn't really use a lot of paint on this, just gesso and underpants and a bit of texture paste and I think it's turned out really nice. And it looks really good with my bunnies. I'm, I'm happy that they've got a home now. My next page is the pop-up technique. So I have this girl here. Flatten the book out. And she's blowing her bubble. Her uh, bubble gum there. <laughs> which I found in a magazine. And then I made a hat for her. And then when she pops open, you can see like a little girl inside. So that's her inner in a child um, so yeah I did this one again a Laurie um, Marie technique and I just used uh, my Derwent Intense um, pencils on this one 
Uh, they are an acrylic pencil and when you add water they turn into a paint. So I use a little bit of that on this page. Then if we go over, now this one's not finished. I haven't decorated this page yet, but I made these tags with this retro girl and her <laughs> simply stunning hairstyle. I don't know what era that's from. <laughs> I don't know. Is it 60s, 70s? And just did a bit of texture. Um... This wasn't texture paste, this was gesso and I did it all kind of lumpy and let it dry. And then we sanded it back and we put um, paint, watercolour paint in green and yellow over the top. And she opens up so there's another girl underneath. So her lips kind of match up. And if you do this way, she looks like that. And again, these are not finished. I still have to add um, some backing to those um, to those tags. And again, the same technique here with the gesso and just um, I put a magazine um, page on it and then pulled it off to get this texture um, and then sandpapered and, and coloured. So that's that one. Then we have the, the heart page, which is one of my favourites and probably everyone's favourites who follows Laurie Marie. Um, I haven't done this page yet, but had so much fun doing the texture paste. I had a stencil with love hearts on it, which I made myself. So um, did texture paste with the hearts. And I found these guys who look so cool back in the um, 50s or 60s. And he's got a cigarette in his mouth and this guy's got his shirt rolled up and this guy's in a suit. And I just thought they look so damn cool. So I've put them with a bit of the plastic over the top and sewed that on with some of my... Um, embroidery floss and then the back of the heart is kind of the same but I used a uh, this was paper towel with a rust stain when I was rusting some items um, I put a bit of the rust stain onto the paper towel so I put that onto the cardboard heart and then I found this gentleman here in his suit who I thought was a bit of a sweetheart so I placed him in there, the same techniques around the border. And I've actually got gloss Mod Podge and I put gloss Mod Podge all over this to kind of give her a nice shiny kind of lacquer appearance. Then this page, I had this uh, tissue type paper um, that someone gifted me with the keys on it. So I just did my underpants um, in the background, then put on this tissue paper. And again, um, one of the paper dolls. I did a paper doll swap and this one was gifted to me. And she's very cute. And again, I didn't know what to do with her. So she has gone on this page because I just think the colours match up so well. Um, so she's now stuck in there, but again, her um, oh, her legs don't move, but her arms move, and she is so gorgeous. Uh, okay, so this is one I've been working on recently. Um, this is a shaker window um, that Laurie Marie uh, teaches, and I've got the queen in there, and I've got sequins and little beads in there. But let's give it a shake shake inside there so these pages have still got to be um, decorated and collaged then my next page is just a bit of a uh, collage kind of decorated these pages with this um, baby doll gave her a necklace with a washer 
because what baby doll wouldn't want to wash a necklace? <laughs> this has all been rusted. Um, I found a tutorial on YouTube that shows you how to rust items using uh, hydro, uh, what is it? Hydro peroxide, uh, vinegar and water. And it really works and it did uh, it did well I rusted all my items so I gave her a necklace little hat and she was holding this little doll but I thought I'd make it even more of a feature I had this little moon face that I made and um, gave the little doll a little moon face that kind of matches in with the gold on this page and I just really loved this image in the frame, just thought it looked lovely. Added a bit of gold paint at the top and let it drip and run down the page. Um, yes, yeah, a lot of texture here, underpants, paint, gesso, very rustic. And I just added this beautiful dreamer to the bottom. This page I'm currently working on, it's the uh, windows, the six windows from Laurie Marie. And again, with the textured um, gesso and paint, and I did some windows here. And my little um, plastic, the piece of plastic I had for my windows was just a little bit short on this side, but I'm just grinning and bearing it. But um, I put all my images in on that page just kind of glued them in and these are little um, stud type things that I had in my stash which I also rusted in that solution uh, these were silver color originally but now they're a beautiful rusty color and I originally bought these for a sweater that I had a, a, a knitted sweater and I was going to put them on the shoulders. You know how that fashion came in with all the studs, you know, on your shoulders. Um, so I had a sweater. I added these two and I had a whole bunch of them. So um, I just used these because they just punch through. And then you just knock, you know, the backs down. Um, so this is a page I'm currently working on, just blending all this in. Another page that I've started and working on, um, I'm doing a bit of a collage here with this girl. Um, but what I am planning, I've also got this fish that I'm going to cut out and have coming to incorporate this page. But I have this girl and this was pure accident that I must have used the eye for a different collage. And um, I found this in my stash and I kind of liked it. I'm going to um, turn this into a tag that you lift up like that from the top. And she's going to line up with the girl's eyes behind. So she's going to actually have three eyes now. <laughs> so it will be like that. Um, but I'll probably cut her out and make it more into a tag type thing that flips up and down. So that's something I'm working on. And I will show you another video when I've completed everything. Then I have a whole heap of pages in the middle that I haven't done anything to yet. Um, and then I did some at the back. So I found this creepy guy, which I was drawn to somehow with his bird mask on. Very creepy, but so, so cool. And again, I used a bit of that napkin that's got the, the rust juice <laughs> on it. And I put that as my underpants. Uh, then the collage piece and I inked the edges of that and then I just found this bit of cording stuff I had in my stash and I just roughly, very rustically sewed that on um, the middle of his outfit there. And then on this page, again, I used that tissue paper with the keys and I found these little curiosities which were kept in boxes 
uh, in a National Geographic magazine. So I thought they were very appropriate for this page. And inside here, this is a little plastic container and inside I've got some old Australian coins that are no longer um, currency. And another one of those images in the box and also a rusted uh, globe uh, that I found in my husband's stash. He has a stash in his bedside drawer and no joke, it is full of bolts and screws and who knows what this light fitting and he just cleans out his pockets at the end of the day and it all goes into this drawer and it drives me crazy but I actually found so many goodies in there that I ended up putting in my rusting solution <laughs> so I've got them now because <laughs> once they go in the drawer believe me they do not come out again <laughs> so I really love this page this is probably one of the first few pages I did um, so this plastic here was just a container um, that had paper clips it had the cardboard backing and then the paper clips were inside there and I just used the uh, plastic part so look around your house and find what you can what you can use for your books it's amazing how many different things you can find uh, this is one of my favourite pages. It's my romantic page. And I found this, uh, it was inspired by this lovely rose uh, that I found. And then I found this container, which I've kind of put quite a few pages together, made this quite thick and cut in and embedded this container lid. This actually had like little charcoal sticks in them. And I used the container and I put these guys and this cute little baby and I stuck them to the bottom of the container and added this watch, which I've also stuck in there. Um, this was gifted to me as a Kris Kringle thing at Christmas time and it didn't work when I got it. <laughs> uh, I think it's from like the cheap dollar store or whatever. So I used it in here, thought it looked lovely, like a keepsake. And then I found this beautiful uh, script writing in a, I have an old little book, a typewriter book um, that teaches you how to type. And in it is all different um, types of scripted um, script writing. And it's really good to use as underpants and collage and stuff like that. So I use a bit of that to um just placed it over the top and glued it to the sides of the tin. And I used a little bit of stamping on here and paint and oh, deliciousness. And here also from that typewriting book, um, I just kind of folded it all like this and glued it down this side. And here I added a screw, a rusty screw to hold that in place. So I really like that. And that screw is actually, you can just see it's inside this plastic container because I didn't want anyone to cut their finger on a rusty screw. Um, so I made sure it was inside the container on that side. And then my last page I have done so far is this one here, which is just basically um, this one here has got glossy Mod Podge over the top just gave it a shiny kind of look and this one is a transfer of this pilot um, which is really good just added some matches some burnt matches up the top and I may you know do a bit of sewing around this page as well see how we go it is pretty thick I don't know if I'll be able to sew too much on it now these are those same brads uh, but in silver before I rusted them so this has got the silver brads and then I have a couple of pages at the back that I still have to do as well so I have been having such a ball doing this I've been working on it straight for a whole week I've been trying to do well some days I've done two or three pages and other days I've only got I've done one page because 
of like some pages just take longer than others just because of the fact that they have a drying time. So when Laurie Marie says, you know, I work on two books at the same time, I sort of first I thought, oh, my God, like where does she get the time? But now I realise she does that because, she, you know, one lot with texture paste is probably drying. And while that dries, she probably then goes on to her other books. So she's still got something to do. So... Yeah, that's what I've got up to so far ladies and um, got a few more pages to finish this beauty and then no doubt I'll probably start another one <laughs> um, had so much fun again thank you Stephanie from uh, Leather and Jay love you lots um, I have got a bit of a stash going for you now that I have to send off shortly coming your way and um, again Laurie Marie you're fantastic please please keep giving uh, altered book tutorials totally addicted totally watch them every day I just can't get enough thank you so much and um, as Laurie Marie says go go and play go and have fun and create bye